Facts about cyberbullying causes prevention more. One the most popular medium for cyberbullying is mobile phones. There are numerous cyberbullying statistics that require immediate attention, but one of the most disturbing is that over 80% of kids now regularly use mobile phones, which is how cyberbullying most usually occurs. Cyberbullying can take many different forms on mobile devices, including threatening calls, offensive images or videos, and even identity theft. 2. With the development of IT, cyberbullying first appeared in the 1990s. Huge technical advancements occurred throughout the 1990s, including the globalization of the World Wide Web and the widespread usage of mobile phones in people's private lives. Unfortunately, these information technology breakthroughs also brought with them a number of unintended effects, including cyberbullying. Teenagers all throughout the world began to engage in this terrible activity quickly. 3. Because of anonymity and distance, cyberbullying is more prevalent. Among young individuals, 4 out of 5 think that cyberbullying is much simpler than physical bullying. Why? Because anonymity can be maintained to a greater extent online. Additionally, technology makes bullying possible from a distance, which requires no direct contact with the victim and makes the entire incident less personal and less troublesome for the offenders. 4. Cyberstalking and cyberbullying are not the same things. Although the terms cyberbullying and cyberstalking are frequently used interchangeably in the media, they do not necessarily indicate the same thing. Cyberstalking is a form of cyberbullying that can be comprehended, and it's commonly thought of as cyberbullying committed by adults against other adults, as opposed to cyberbullying, which is more frequently the domain of teenagers. 5. Girls are more likely than boys to engage in online bullying by a factor of 2. When it comes to ordinary, in-person bullying, boys and girls are roughly on par, but girls are significantly more likely to be active in cyberbullying, both as victims and abusers. Boys are more physically inclined than girls, making them more likely to experience physical bullying. 6. Only one out of every six parents is aware that their children are being cyberbullied. One of the biggest advantages of the internet is how much freedom it provides. However, sometimes this freedom may be too much, especially for young people. Therefore, it may not come as a surprise that the majority of parents, more than 80%, are not even aware of the issue. 7 to 53 percent of kids report being bullied online more than half of all kids acknowledge hurting or being cruel to others online moreover one third of them acknowledged engaging in repeated cyberbullying of another person however these figures only include the kids who had the courage to own up to their mistakes those who comprehend what cyberbullying is and are aware that they have engaged in it eight children who spend a great deal of time online are more prone to cyberbullying Teenagers who use social networks for more than three hours daily are 110% more likely to experience cyberbullying, according to studies. All parents who permit their kids to spend the majority of their leisure time online should take note of these data. 9-10% to of youth had embarrassing photos taken of them. According to this statistic, 1 in 10 young adults or teenagers has had their photos taken without their permission while acting in an intimate manner, be it while they're naked, having sex, or engaging in another private embarrassing, or illegal activity. And these images, which are frequently taken using mobile devices, are a favorite tool of contemporary cyberbullies. 10. One of the largest platforms for cyberbullying is video gaming. The prevalence of cyberbullying in the video game industry, most usually manifested as sexual harassment of women, has been well documented. This can be linked to a variety of historical and cultural issues, including the traditional sexualization of female characters in video games. Children who regularly engage in violent video games are more prone to engage in cyberbullying, either as bullies or victims, according to a Chinese study.